Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Epe Gunati from NK Tech Solutions. In this video, we are going to look at the overview of CSS, or better still, what is CSS? Okay, so if you don't already know, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Now from this acronym, it's clear that CSS is used for styling. Okay, CSS is used for styling our website. It's used to arrange the text in our website, the videos, and the pictures we have in our website. Okay? Now, CSS has been around for a very long time, but the first draft of CSS was introduced in the World Wide Web Conference, which was held in Chicago, October 1994, in which it was supported by the Argo and the Arena browser as at that time. Now, in 1996, CSS1 was recommended, followed by the World Wide Web Consortium. But CSS1 was having many issues relating to user interactivity, which was reported by some news agencies. So it was reviewed, and in 1997, CSS2 was released. Now, CSS2 also had some hiccups regarding to adding colors, forms, splitting text, and some few issues which lead to the release of CSS3 in 1999. Now, CSS3 is still the latest standard till date, from 1999 till date. There is no sign of CSS4 coming out anytime soon, right? But in all, CSS2 and CSS3 pretty much do the same job, okay? Just some little adjustment for better controllability of the website by the user. All right, let us note that CSS is not a standalone language. It works hand in hand with HTML and JavaScript, okay? Now let's look at a website to see why you need CSS for your website or for your software applications. Now let's use this beautiful website as an example. Now as you can see, we have um, we have a text here that is animating. Now this is done with JavaScript. As you can see, changing text. If you come down, let's scroll down. And then you see, we can move this menu. This is also done with JavaScript. Let's come down here. You can see we have these beautiful cards and then each of them animates, okay? So this is animation. We are going to do that in a later series. Let's also come down and see, this is also animating. And then here we have a video. Okay, so the arrangement of these cards, everything is done with CSS. Okay, now we have our business card, business information, and then we have the form here. Okay, so as you can see, we have our socials and they are all animating 360 degree, and everything is well arranged. Now, the colors you see here, the arrangements. The width, the height, everything is done using CSS, and that is what this series is all about. Okay. Now, what I want to show you is um, without CSS, how is this site going to look like? So let's go to the code. Let's go over to the code. And here we have our code. Okay, so as you can see, this is our HTML. We have the style.css, we have the media query. We're going to talk about this and then we have the about us okay so um let's go to the style of css now let's do this let's comment everything out now by commenting them out meaning we are taking off the css in this website so let's do that let's control a and then control forward slash okay so let's go to the website 
now here we see this is how the website is looking like without the css now we still have some css here and we have we still have the javascript working here let's go back to the code and in the about here let's also comment everything here out let's see so these are for the buttons Okay, let's leave the middle carry for now. So let's take this out. So control forward slash. And let's go back to the website again. All right. Now, as you can see, we have the website looking like this. You see here, everything is looking um, without colors. And you see the form is now looking like this. So this is how the website looks like without css so this is the importance of css now let's go back and let's let's quickly undo this to z let's also undo this to z and immediately you see the website is now restored to how it was looking like all right so as you can see okay guys so this is the importance of css also, websites are now viewed in various devices, such as the laptop, the mobile devices, and the tablets. So, CSS uses media queries to achieve responsiveness of our website. So, this is the end of this video, guys. Um, in this video, we looked at the overview of CSS, and in the next video, we are going to look at how to add CSS tie sheets into our website. Okay? So guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And also click on the bell icon to receive the latest uploads in our channel. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.